guys that I have not shown you are spiffy new ah, uh, Roomba-like vacuum. It's the Shark Ion something or another. I don't know. Um, it's okay. We don't, we're not like super in love with it because I feel like you have to babysit it a little bit, but not bad. And it's kind of a fun new thing. It has its charging station over there. So when it decides it's done, does it tell itself when it's done or how does it know to go? Okay. So when the, what? Okay. So hopefully it will find its way back to its charging station when the battery gets low, but we're not sure. Also, we put up this thing here because we don't want it to go in this room because it's housing my son's furniture until he moves. So we don't want it going in there and getting all lost. That would be bad. Okay, so here we are in the backyard with the chicken grilling. I was gonna show you um, a new seasoning I got because I had put, um, a video about <clears throat> seasoning on my, one of my last videos. Anyway, this is the new one I got. Uh, uh, Some said chili lime, cilantro lime. And you know what? I told you how careful I was about reading directions. Yeah, this one has nothing bad. I didn't remember reading it, but it's fine. So this first batch, I cilantro lime. Archer. I just um, you know do that and then the second batch I oh that smells so good I did the uh, chipotle garlic that's my recent fave and I just put kind of ouch it's hot under there put kind of a, <laughs> a lot on it holy cow it's hot okay and that is the extent of my grilling knowledge. Okay, so I have five minutes until the chicken is done, until the timer goes off. I'm waiting to upload my video there, and so I thought I would just uh, film another thing I'm doing. I bought this super cute clip art a while back on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, I will try to find the store name. I believe it is... Nope, can't remember. Um, I will link it uh, in the description, but they're boho rainbows, and I'm just, I love these things lately. A little bit obsessed with them. So, I bought sticker paper, because I also wanted to make sticker, this thing is really loud, and it's coming at me. Oh my gosh, just gonna lift my feet up. Um, really obsessed with the whole boho rainbow thing. So, got these, uh, this clip art and wanted to use it to make stickers for my kids in class and to put them on, you know, everything probably. Oh my gosh, this thing is under my chair. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so printed them out and I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of nine. So I have 63. I worked that math out longhand so I could appear impressive with my math skills. Just kidding. Um, 63 little stickers on one sheet of paper, which I think is pretty good. The sticker paper I bought is just a uh, sample pack. I can't remember. I think it said it was water resistant, not waterproof, but I could be wrong. Anyway, you can buy your sticker paper. I just bought mine on Amazon. Um, I could also link that if I found it, if I know how. Um, and I just typed in sticker paper, honestly. You can buy it even in an office supply store, but I got mine for pretty cheap on Amazon and you can get matte finish, which is what this is, so not shiny. You can get um, glossy and then you can and you definitely want to if you're using this for like to put these on a hydro flask you definitely want to get the waterproof version um and i don't honestly know what this is i just wanted to make some for my students so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to cut them out and i will show you them later 
Okay, 10 more minutes has gone by. Look, 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 does that look yummy? And I brought out corn tortillas. Not sure what I'm doing, but I always um, check to make sure that the chicken is cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you the other parts in a minute. Okay, and that is the cilantro lime chicken. Now I have to take off the other chicken and I don't know what I'm doing with the tortillas, but I just thought let's grill them and eat the chicken on them. I don't know. Okay, so my hands are all sticky and I've got to get the chicken in, but that is the chipotle mesquite, or no, 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 I always do that wrong, chipotle garlic right? Yeah. And over there was the cilantro lime. And then what I do is we uh, eat what we want for the for dinner. And then I cover it with tinfoil, let it cool down, and then I bag it up. And I date it just because, you know, safety. Okay, so one last picture. I threw these on the grill. Not sure what or why, what I was going for. I didn't put any oil or anything, which would have made them crispy. I don't know, just wanted to warm them up. And this is what I ended up with. I cut up a couple little pieces of chicken. I like to cut them up into small chunks anyway. That way if you're making like a lunch, you can just grab one or two. And then I put on some holy guacamole. And this stuff is delicious. And some cheese and that's what we're eating for dinner. Here is Monroe today. Look at her tail shed. Isn't that crazy? Holy cow. And look at her tail. It's still shedding. That means you're growing so big. And look up in her hammock. It looks like it's lizard dandruff. It's so gross. I have a hard time looking at that. But it's okay because that is what happens when a lizard grows bigger. Here's what we do after. We just cuddle a little bit. Yeah. Hi, I just came on because I had a great idea. At least I think it is. I was reading on Facebook um, just a couple minutes ago. My mom had said, oh my gosh, I really want to read The Lady in the Window now that you talked about. It sounds really good. And one of my longtime friends from high school said the same. Oh, that sounds good. I want to read it. Why don't I give away my copies? Isn't that a great idea to not be a book hoarder? I don't think I can wrap my head around that quite yet, but um, I was thinking maybe one or two a month and I could do some sort of a, I know there's uh, ways to do drawings, so I could do a, um, some kind of a raffle copter or something, I don't know. But if you were interested, just put your name in the comments and say, me, I want the book. And then, yes, it's a used book, but I don't drool. I mean, I do, but on my pillow, not my books. Um, and I, it would be like a good way for me to share. So tell me what you think in the comments if you would like to do something like this. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I had my birthday, um, was it this week? Yes, it was this week, old age, you know. And look what I got. This was sent to me by Katie, my daughter. And this is like the nicest thing I think I've ever had. And I'm a little bit scared. And I'm so thankful that, that she sent me this. It is a really nice one, I believe. And I know it is actually. And um, she got it for me because she knows that I'm having such a good time recording and doing YouTube videos. And also I'm gonna have to um, record and do stuff for class this coming up fall. We're starting anyway as distance learners and teachers. So I am so excited to try, I can't even just tell you how excited I am to try this camera out. Look at that, it comes with a puff ball that um, stops wind noise. Wow. So now I'm reading all the things. I put 
I already put the uh, battery in and I have an SD card I'm gonna pop in there in a second. Hi, I'm back uh, just for a second. Um, I just plugged in my ring light. Can you tell? It's off. It's on. Does the ring light help me look any less ravaged by time? I don't think so. But anyway, um, I turned it on. So I am going through some more courses for uh, Teachers Pay Teachers Conference. They're online for us up until July 31st, and my school starts back. Well, I'm going in this week, actually, to just going to put my classroom together. This is amazing, and it's hard to concentrate. Anyway, um, probably for you, too. I don't know. Um, I'm going in this Thursday with my co-teacher and the other third grade teacher, and she and I are going to, we don't really know what we're doing, but we're going to, I'm going to put my room in somewhat of a workable fashion. Um, so I'm, I'll, I'll film a little bit while I'm there, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know. Totally lost my train of thought, not uncommon. I'm gonna go in on Thursday and then next week we start back officially. So, what we're starting back doing is still a big fat question mark. We don't know, um, really. Haven't seen my new curriculum yet because we're using an online curriculum uh, to begin the virtual year. And then for students that are continuing online, um, even past when we're going back in person are going to continue using that forum. It's uh, called Florida Virtual and our district adopted that for online instruction. But all of us are going to be using that until we go back in person. When we go back in person, we're going to be using our brand new reading curriculum that we have not used. Um, we have had some trainings on and it looks amazing. It's uh, Benchmark Advance or BA. So I am excited to use that. It looks like a really good uh, program. If some of you watching have used or are using Benchmark Advance, give me some tips, <laughs> especially if you're third grade. That would be super helpful. I have my little friend Monroe with me here. Um, I wanted to show you, yes, an archer is here too, as well as Squirt. They are so involved. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you, she's, um, she is molting. Look at that. That is a hangy, a hangy thing. She's got skin hanging. So, and she looks kind of funny. Okay, we're done now. Look what came. Happy mail. Ugh. Dog hair in my mouth. That's weird. Okay. I ordered this cute little case for my new camera. I'm super excited. And this little guy, which um, my camera kind of laughed at me. <laughs> Pretty sure I heard it laughing because I put in this little SD card that I just had laying around. It was a four, um, how do they measure them? Oh my gosh, gigabyte like M B G L anyway um it was a four gigabyte and apparently my camera's cooler than that so I'll be popping that out later and putting this guy in and we have a cute little case I'm so excited and then one more thing hmm I wonder what it is could it be a book yes okay so I'm so excited. It's a newer, why does that look all backwards? Does it always look backwards when it, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So it was backwards because I was holding it upside down. But look, it's a new Sophie Kinsella book. I owe you one. 
can't wait. I'll do a little, um, I, I bought another book at Target yesterday too, so I'll talk about this one and that one in a little bit. Okay, so my day has been made. I went to the mail and what did I see? But a card from Joey. Hey, that rhymed. Didn't even try. A card from my friend Joey. Joey is the sweetest person on the planet and he was not even one of my students, but he was in a um, the ASD, the Autism Spectrum Disorder uh, program that we had on our campus. And his one of his, uh, brothers there's five five boys in this wonderful family and he uh, is my son's one of my son's very good friends they've been friends since I think third grade something like that anyway so Joey has this amazing memory where he doesn't forget a date um, I told him after being asked one time when my birthday was and I get cards and sweet messages so here's the card from Joey. It says, happy birthday, warmest wishes for a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Butler. I told my husband, I'm a miss. don't know. Miss Butler, I hope you have a great day. I love your happy face. Cute bunny. He loves bunnies and bunny faces. Nice, joyful, great hug, sweet. I love you so much. I like you a lot and I miss you. Love, Joey made my day. Joey, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You are so kind.